Yo, what is going on guys? Daniel here, and as you see, our cash stack is dwindling, but we are looking sexy as... What I did is, I went out and bought myself the Noxious Bow with all of the Serenic pieces of gear, Re Amulet of Souls, Ring of Death, I have, uh, I think, the Reaper's Necklace as well, I think that's what it's called, got some Pernix right there, on almost 5k freaking... Hydric Bull Tips, Scrimshaw, Cruelty, but what we're going to be doing is, I am going to be killing Armadil, you know, ooh, nothing really big or new or anything like that, um, even though this is the first video of me doing anything but Bandos or Clues Girls, um, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm 95 range, I would like to get 99 range, so 3.4 million XP, almost 3.5 million XP, off of just doing Arma, so doing kill count and doing the bosses. Um, I'm going to keep all the loot I get from Arma and I'm going to put it into a loot tab of once we hit 99 range I will sell that loot tab and show you um, if I made a lot of money. Of course I'm going to make a lot of money. Um, I invested I'll say around 250 mil ish. I got the bow and I got all this gear. I got the one ring that's in the bank. This ring's like 26 mil low. Necklace like 26 mil. Uh, the gears pretty expensive uh, the bow like hundred and like 50 mil I think maybe more I'm not too sure I don't remember um, but yeah so yeah uh, no matter what the gear will might the gear might break like it takes a while for the gear to actually turn into like dust um, but the bow no matter what will stick with me forever so no matter what that's a good investment so I'm hoping to pull the pet out of this experiment uh, kind of thing um, every trip I do is going to be an hour, so we're going to actually be able to track how long it took me to get from 95 to 99 from doing it alone. Um, I will be doing all those other series and stuff like that. This is just an intro to this one. Um, don't worry, I will be doing everything else still. This is just one way that is going to help me get my clues scrolls a lot quicker. As you see, we're sitting at 12.5 mil from our clues. But yeah guys, so I'll see you guys once we actually get some loot. Alright guys, so there's our first level. We actually got it uh, uh, off the, like the first trip. I'm sorry about the double us, but like actually this place is actually a little bit laggy. Um, it's definitely because of how all the particles and shit are going off. Even in the lowest graphics, but yeah guys, there's the first one. We started out with 58 Kriara kills, by the way. Just gonna say that. I've barely ever been here, so yeah. Guys, we got our first rare drop, which was a Starved Effigy. As you guys know, you can actually only get those, um, like, what is it? Like, you only get a few of them. I don't think you can get a lot of them, so that's kind of depressing. But, uh, it's not that bad. I have, I think, two others in my bank, so yeah, first drop. Third shard 2 over there on the ground. We're gonna go get that and then continue with our kill. Alright guys, our hour of bandos- is, oh my god, bandos. Our hour of armadil is completed. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, I remember coming here before, but there's the loot we got. We also have some stuff in the bank that I'm gonna get out, but I just want to say, spark my life. Reply to my godly OSRS, easy clue reward, hilarious reaction, and fucking hell, that makes my day. Every time you see someone you look up to actually, like, message you back, it's fucking unbelievable. But we did hit a level, which is sweet. Um, that was my Slayer task as well, which is really nice. I've been delaying it, but yeah, let's go get the stuff from the bank, and then I'll actually give you guys a proper price check. Alright guys, the amount of money we got from that hour was 1.2 mil. We didn't get any good drops. We did get Warpriest Armor Boots and a Starved Effigy, which is actually pretty awesome. Starved Ancient Effigy, my bad. Um, 2 point, I'm sorry, I almost said 2.9 mil in cash, but we got 294k in cash from that hour. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to log this, and that's what we get, because I do have certain things in my bank that actually, like, kind of like will overwrite each other like when it comes to my clue tab but yeah guys I did loot the addy bars I'm going to do that every time I get kill count so there's 129k right there but yeah so basically a uh, 1.3 mil trip from Arma see you guys in the next clip alright so we're about to have our second hour of Arma hopefully we'll get a drop this time uh, I did bring my spring cleaner last time I actually got rid of it because I had ore already in the bank but I tallied up how much ore I have in there now 
so I'll actually be able to get a price, the exact price of how much money we make off of this trip. So good luck to us. Let's actually pray that we get something. I did the World Awakes quest, so now we have Death Swiftness, which is supposedly really good. So good luck. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves our first ever armadillo drop. Armadillo gloves. I don't know how expensive these are. I don't know if they're cheap or whatnot, but that's pretty freaking exciting. Two mil. Damn. Alright, so that hour is finally completed. Now I just have to go get all the ore that was from the spring cleaner, and then I'll give you guys the price check of this hour. Alright, so the price of this hour, we ended up making 3.4 mil, which is 2 mil higher than we actually got from our last trip. Due to the armor gloves, we also did get Armadillo Warpriest gauntlets, which we did get Arma Warpriest boots last time. Shout out to this guy. Thanks for your support. 416k alone in the dwarf weed, which is kind of crazy. We didn't get much rare drop table loot, which is good, but we did get the two worst ones that you can get, which kind of sucks. Not much rune ore or coal from breaking down things because it's only like crossbows and stuff like that. It gives you like logs, but I don't remember which ones. So, yeah. Best thing we got armadillo gloves. Not too bad. Alright guys, we're now here for hour number 3, we should hit a range level to 97, 192k off, we get around 300k XP, or 350k XP in an hour, um, went with this sexy ass look, we're bringing the ring of wealth my girlfriend told me to, um, here's what we have, there's like no food other than what's in my pack, um, I'm bringing the penance aura this time, so we don't run out of prayer, we almost ran out of prayer last time, and I'd like to keep this up. Um, it actually helps him, but there's our setup like normal, inventory, the addy bars, of course, from the kill count. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys once we actually, hopefully, hopefully get a loot. I'm always going to try and equip that whenever I get a kill, so yeah, guys, hour number three. Alright, guys, there is 97 range. That means we've gotten two range levels so far and three hours of armor. Technically an hour and 30, I mean two hours and 30 minutes. First loot from the rare drop table loot. I only had the Ring of Wealth equipped. I accidentally used it on my note paper and freaking turned it noted so I had to send it to the bank. Uh. Alright guys, there we go. We got ourselves the Elite Clue Scroll. I have been so dry of these things. I'm actually pretty freaking stoked right now. Guys, we just got ourselves the Armadillo Chain Skirt. It told me the value of the drop and I basically just gasped. Oh my god, that is amazing. 3 mil alone in one item. Holy crap. Thanks. Thank you very much, this guy. A rare drop table loot. A dragon helmet on the floor. Gosh darn it. Guys, that hour is over. We hit 97 range, which is really cool. We're almost max combat. Don't think that'll happen for a while, though. Um... We did get armor chain skirt, but I'm going to go get all the loot from the bank, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here's all the loot that we got from the trip. 4.3 mil, our best trip so far, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to go do these two clues, and then we'll price check everything that we have got so far. But yeah, I'll see you in just hopefully one second. Guys, to end off the first part of this mini-series, I'm going to do a price check of all the loot we got so far. Not counting the clue scrolls, of course, this is just the loot from Arma alone. So, right away with the two rares, that is 5 mil alone. Throw in the cash, 5.7 mil. Now we get into the good stuff. The Addy Bars are only from the minions from getting kill count, so that's 314k from kill count alone, which is really cool. But now we're just going to toss everything in here. 9 mil, I'll say, if you round it up. So, 9 mil, 3 hours, so that means it's around 3 mil an hour, which is pretty cool. That's basically right there, 1 mil. I mean, 1 hour just right there alone. But, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this mini-series. Um, it's not going to be long since I only have 2 levels to go, uh, even though that is about a good couple hours, because I'll say you get 300k an hour. How much XP do I have left? 2.1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, so it's around 7 more trips, I'll say, and then we'll actually hit the level, so basically 2 more episodes, but yeah guys, so we made 9 mil in 
three hours, which is pretty good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the series. If you do, leave a comment, like, all that good shit down below. Um, tell me what you think I should do next, maybe, after this mini-series ends. And I'll see you guys later with the next episode. Peace.